Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel as we are just mere days away from the kickoff to WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. After an extremely successful and captivating year on WWE 2K22, it's time for it all to begin again. Now later on we will reveal the official date for both the first Raw and SmackDown a part of WWE 2K23, as well as the first live premiere event of the year. But tonight, we are here to lay the groundwork for an all new year, as it is time for the 2023 WWE Draft Lottery. Now this draft is taking place at complete random. 25 picks will be made tonight, and the coin flip that took place earlier today decided who would have the advantage in this lottery. Raw will receive the extra pick as they were lucky enough to score the first overall choice. These random selections will alternate back and forth between Raw and SmackDown until we reach number 25. By the end of this special event, we will have a brand new look for Monday Night Raw as well as Friday Night SmackDown as we approach WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. So with the stage now set, let's see the first 10 random draft lottery selections for both Raw and SmackDown. Raw will receive the first pick, which is none other than the Prince Finn Balor. Balor has found himself a bit lost in the shuffle on Friday nights, but now will have a new opportunity to thrive over on Mondays. And now for SmackDown's first selection, they score the former WWE Champion and the man that spoiled the return of Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania headed to SmackDown is all day Austin Theory. Third overall heading to Raw is going to be Elias. Will the Red Brand be ready to walk with Elias? Maybe even on the way to Championship Gold one day. Fourth pick overall, but second for SmackDown sees Dominic Dijakovic on the move. Well, this is very interesting. Dominic Dijakovic, the tag team partner of Damian Priest. And of course, that tag team partner now at least remains on Monday Night Raw for the time being. So now the man we call the rare breed of WWE is going back into singles action on SmackDown. Will he be able to thrive on his own? Only time will tell. Next up for Raw, they land the gold standard of WWE. Shelton Benjamin, the former member of the Hurt Business, former Intercontinental United States and Tag Team Champion, is heading back to the show that kicked off his singles career years ago, that being Monday Night Raw. And now on the move to SmackDown will be the man formerly known as Jordan Devlin, but now wants to be addressed by the name J.D. McDonough. JD's luck hasn't been all that great over the last few months, but maybe a change of scenery is just what the Iris Ace needs to climb the rankings here in WWE. The seventh overall selection sees, oh my goodness, LA Knight is headed to Raw. Well, Knight was recently a part of a huge WrestleMania moment when none other than the great one, The Rock, accepted his open challenge at the show of shows. The result, may not have been what Knight wanted, but now new opportunities are on the horizon for the defiant LA Knight, a huge pickup for Monday Night Raw. Eighth overall to SmackDown will be our first NXT pick of the evening. Well, everyone in WWE is eligible and this duo from the gold brand, Shanky and Veer Mahan, will now find their new home on Friday nights. Next up for Raw, they get the addition of good old happy be Baron Corbin. You know, we talked about luck when it came to JD McDonough. Well, here's another guy who could use some of that good luck, not necessarily at the poker table, but in the ring. Regardless, Corbin is heading to Raw, so let's see what luck he can create. And the 10th pick thus far in the draft goes to SmackDown, and they receive another NXT pick, that being Grayson Waller, one of NXT's brightest stars, will now have a chance to make some noise on the big stage on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, before we continue, we promised some announcements tonight, so first things first, when can you expect Universe Mode to be back in action? Well, the action is coming your way each and every week, kicking off on Monday night, March 20th, as Raw airs live from the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. And just a few days later, SmackDown is back on Friday night, March 24th, emanating 
from the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. And in just a bit, we will have news regarding our first live premiere event for Universe Mode. But for right now, we take a look at Draft Lottery Selections number 11 to number 20. Kicking off this next round for Monday Night Raw, it is The Miz, the self-proclaimed A-list superstar. May have gotten his bell rung by Drew McIntyre the last time we saw him, but he's got to shake those cobwebs loose and get back on track on the red brand. And the 12th pick, heading to SmackDown, it is the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Mahal once stood over SmackDown as the man in charge, the WWE Champion, but that was many moons ago, Ken Mahal returned to the land he once conquered and rewrite history all over again. On the way to Raw, it will be the team of Apollo Crews and his big man, Commander Aziz. Two powerful men they are going to be looking to wreak havoc over every superstar in that Raw locker room. On the flip side, heading to SmackDown, and this is huge, Johnny Gargano, one half of the former World Tag Team Champions, and I guess now one half of the former team known as DIY. Tommaso Ciampa is still on Monday nights right now. So unless things go DIY's way by the end of this draft, Gargano is riding solo to Friday nights. The 15th lottery pick goes to Raw and they will receive the man who was the first ever NXT United Kingdom champion. That being Tyler Bate. Bate has been extremely impressive during his time on SmackDown, but now he finds a new home on Raw. And Friday Night SmackDown will obtain the Nigerian Giant Omas. He may have fallen to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but that loss may have only irritated this intimidating force that much more. When Omas steps foot in the ring again, it will be a part of Friday Night SmackDown. And on the move to Raw, it is Braun Strowman. One giant in exchange for one monster, the monster of all monsters. Stand clear, everybody, because Braun Strowman is running full steam ahead towards everyone on Monday Night Raw. It is the 18th overall pick and rolling into SmackDown. Get a load of this. He's back. Recently signed with NXT, but only for a short stay. As of now, this man, Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze, is back on Friday Night SmackDown. And next up, these two men are rocking their way towards Monday Night's Rick Boogs alongside the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, are now a part of the Raw roster. And for the 20th selection, SmackDown receives a huge get. Former two-time NXT champion, Braun Breaker. This man has dominated NXT for the better part of two years, and now a whole new field of superstars will be put to the test against this up-and-comer, Braun Breaker. Well, still five more random draft lottery picks to be revealed. But before we get there, we want to break this news to you all. Our first WWE 2K23 Universe Mode live premiere event is coming your way on Sunday night, April the 16th. It is Backlash live from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And already signed for that event, it is a homecoming for the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar will be in action on April 16th from his hometown of Minneapolis at Backlash. Five more draft picks remain. Let's see the results. Heading to Monday Night Raw at the 21st overall pick, it is the almighty Bobby Lashley. The former United States champion has dominated SmackDown for months. He may be coming to Raw empty-handed, but rest assured, it won't be long until Lashley is fighting for title contention yet again. What a score for the red brand. And next up for the blue brand, a game changer of a pick, the man who once dubbed SmackDown the house that AJ Styles built. The phenomenal one, in my eyes, is coming home. WrestleMania wasn't a success for Styles, but it's time to start down a new path on Friday Night SmackDown. 
Next up, Raw will receive their first NXT pick of the evening. And you want to talk about a game changer? Look no further than the man they call the street champ, Solo Sokoa, a former NXT North American champion and one of the most feared competitors in all of WWE. Look out for Solo on Monday nights. And now for the final pick of the night for Friday Night SmackDown. Oh man, what a win for SmackDown. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Rhodes made his return at WrestleMania. Unfortunately, that night was spoiled by Austin Theory. But now that both men find themselves in the same locker room once more, will Cody have a chance at retribution? The final pick for SmackDown is certainly a groundbreaker. Cody Rhodes is off to Friday nights. And the 25th pick overall, the final pick of the 2023 draft lottery, randomly selected for Monday Night Raw, is Seth freaking Rollins, the visionary who stood atop SmackDown for 78 days as the World Heavyweight Champion will now make his way to Raw, and I'm sure Rollins will be looking to bounce back and obtain championship glory once again. What a Grand Slam choice for the red brand, the revolutionary Seth Rollins moves over to Monday Night Raw. And with all that being said, the 2023 draft lottery is a wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is officially set. We are one step closer to the kickoff of WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. It all begins Monday night, March 20th in Orlando, Florida for Monday Night Raw. And then SmackDown gets its time to shine on Friday night, March 24th from Greensboro, North Carolina. And don't forget, Backlash is coming your way live from Minneapolis, Minnesota on Sunday night, April 16th live, featuring the Beast, Brock Lesnar in action. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you soon. Good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a rider.